A well-functioning health commodity supply chain system saves lives. It provides the necessary essential health services for citizens with good quality health products, no overstocks or shortages. Afia Ugavi provides technical assistance to the Ministry of Health at the national and county level to ensure uninterrupted supply of health commodities, scale up and manage a robust and resilient health supply chain system of global standard. Our work engages technology, people and processes to ensure health supply chains can grow and adapt to shifting demands and uncertainties. We help our partners identify these unique problems and implement solutions that improve the health system and ultimately the health of people for the long term. Funded by USAID, Afia Ugavi implements supply chain system strengthening interventions across the 47 counties with key partners including Ministry of Health Department of Health Products and Technologies, the Department of Family Health, the National AIDS and STIs Control Program, the Division of National Malaria Control Program and County Health Management Teams. Afia Ugavi is uh, USAID uh, funded a uh, five-year project that set out to uh, address the inadequacies in the health supply chain systems in Kenya. And our focus uh, has been uh, strengthening supply chain systems for malaria, HIV, uh, uh, family planning and reproductive maternal child health. We have realized significant uh, achievements uh, in the area of um, stewardship and coordination, uh, we supported the government uh, under the Ministry of Health to develop the first uh, HPT supply chain uh, strategy for the country, which has been touted as the blueprint which the ministry uh, is using to uh, provide uh, interventions uh, at the national level in the, by way of policy and strategies and guidance to the counties uh, to strengthen supply chain system. Afia Ugavi working uh, in close collaboration with the ministry, uh, so we had the minister of health, minister of interior and tourism, as well as the minister of livestock, agriculture livestock and fisheries, uh, was able to put together uh, again, for the first time, what we are calling the emergency supply chain framework uh, that will be used uh, for uh, strengthening preparedness in response to infectious uh, disease outbreaks. But then again, remember, uh, projects have a lifeline. <coughs> uh, projects come and go. And so some of these innovations needed uh, to be packaged in such a way that they will outlive the life of the project. And that is uh, why uh, from the year 2018 we started thinking about a mechanism that would sustain other innovations. And that's how we came with the Health Products and Technologies Units, which would be the units uh, providing the coordination and uh, uh, stewardship for supply chain uh, at the counties. Uh, one of the things that we realized as, uh, as government in the space of HPT is the fact that uh, most of the people who are given responsibility for managing uh, health products and technology did not have the advantage of having uh, training in course on how to manage HPTs. And therefore all of them are required to learn on the job. And therefore, the concept of uh, putting together a curriculum uh, where people can be able to access the curriculum at their convenience is uh, what stimulated the e-learning platform. Uh, we realized that for the e-learning platform to work, we need to incentivize it. And therefore, the stage where we are right now is to making the e-learning materials count towards uh, continuing professional development. 
and we also realize that the budgeting within the counties is not based on uh, specific figures because uh, the counties have not uh, prioritized their quantification or there has been no scientific method in which that can be done. And therefore, as a result of that, uh, we decided to embark uh, with our implementing partner, Fiogavi, on a national quantification exercise uh, that first of all clustered counties into various clusters and were able to uh, use one specific method of establishing quantification, not just for pharmaceuticals, but all health products and technologies. And we believe that this is the data then that can be fed into the Kenya Medical Supplies Agency to be able to more accurately determine what is their budget expectations. In arid and semi-arid lands like Samburu County, interventions have been made to ensure adequate use of health products and technologies and resources, both at national and county level. So the broader outcomes of uh, this technical assistance uh, uh, for Afiogavi has been ensuring that there is rational use of uh, medicines or health products and technologies. There is commodity security environment uh, in our health facilities. There is efficient use of uh, uh, resources, both county and national, and uh, generally ensuring that uh, uh, health budget is actually uh, used efficiently based on the interventions that are actually applied. Our role was to ensure that the supply chain uh, system, the whole supply chain will not be affected by these challenges or will not be broken because we wanted to make sure that commodities are available uh, to the client uh, in, 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 in Samburu. So the other thing that we, we supported as Afiogavi in uh, Samburu County was uh, commodity data reviews and uh, these data reviews will uh, bring together the facility staff who actually are uh, the source of this data and uh, on a monthly basis or on a quarterly basis they will review their data and uh, they will identify uh, areas where there are, there are problems and uh, where uh, there are issues and then they will institute corrective action so that the data that is uh, generated is of good quality. Thanks to the Afio Gavi project, Vihiga County has witnessed marked improvement. Afio Gavi is a, a partner uh, who has worked uh, very closely with Vihiga County. And uh, what I can say from the onset is that uh, they have been extremely helpful in terms of capacity building uh, to our, our uh, staff and also in terms of uh, uh, changing the the culture, the working culture in our facilities, and we do believe uh, that uh, with the continuation of this partnership, uh, we should be able to reach new levels of service delivery. Having identified the four major gaps that the county had, Afio Gavi worked together with the county to first of all establish the Health Products and Technologies Unit, which is now the major coordinating me mechanism for all supply chain activities and the supply chain activities include support supervision, order management and uh, on-job training. Secondly, uh, Afio Gavi worked with the county to establish the Commodity Security TWG that is held on quarterly basis which aims at uh, majorly the gaps that we have facilities that uh, are lacking commodities and support redistribution to ensure that all facilities are well stocked. Afia Ugavi worked together with the county uh, during supervision. Uh, On-job training is done on commodity management. Thus, we've had an increased human capacity on commodity management within the county. For the period we have had partnership uh, with these uh, uh, agencies, USID and the Afia Ugavi, our healthcare system has drastically improved. We have first of all improved our uh, health commodities uh, distribution in our health facilities. 
So to me, I feel the program is having a very significant impact. And this has uh, improved our uh, health service delivery in our um, health facilities. And uh, generally, if you go around, you will get uh, positive responses from our people. As a county and a department, and uh, specifically the Health Products and Technologies Unit, we've been able to implement a number of activities uh, for supply chain management with support from the USAID funded Afia Ugavi. The first activity that we've been consistent in doing is the Integrated Commodity Supportive Supervision and the Supply Chain Audit where we've been able to visit our facilities consistently with 100% coverage to uh, see how they are doing, offer on-job training and uh, mentorship. As a result of the supervision visits, we have a checklist that we've been using that was developed um, with technical assistance from USID funded Afia Ugavi that is scored. So using the uh, performance uh, scores from the facilities, we've been able to come up with uh, an award uh, process where we award best performance to strengthen our accountability and just to improve uh, performance in supply chain management. And this has been a motivator for performance in terms of uh, just getting to know that someone is interested and uh, they are watching. So the event is normally graced by the governor and it's normally memorable that the county leadership has been able to own up and take care uh, of, of the healthcare workers to improve performance. Since Afyaugavi inception into Vihiga County, we have been able to realize our objectives as a facility. Remember, at that point when they came in, luckily, we had just established our strategic plan in the facility. And some of the objectives that we had in the strategic plan was commodity use evaluation and commodity management. We had difficulties in budgets to implement these objectives. So when they came in, we have been able to partially or implement these activities through their partnership with the, the, the county government of Vihiga. So my prayer will be if they continue to stay around, we will see a full implementation of our current strategic plan that has seen uh, improved quality service delivery and as part of strengthening systems for health in the Vihiga County Referral Hospital and the county at large. Isiolo County was one of the four counties selected for UHC piloting. So prior to that, with the support of Afio Gavi, we did some F&Q, which came in very handy. If you can see from the four facilities, Isiolo County is one of the facilities that uh, was one of the counties that benefited the most in terms of budgetary allocation. So I can see that was the first plus that we got. Okay, our budget was good, our supplies was good, we didn't lack anything during the pilot site, and it was awesome. So they did, we did another F&Q that was, uh, I think, this year, beginning of this year, and it has also helped tremendously. Where, but we involve the facilities, they come up with their annual monthly consumption, we go ahead and do the F&Q. So I can say that has really helped, because it enabled the county uh, planning committee to have a basis in allocating, for, for budgetary allocation for health commodities. So I can say F&Q is one of the major things that uh, Fiogavi has helped us with. So end-to-end -end visibility is uh, all about increasing efficiency in the supply chain as far as visibility of commodity data is concerned. When you consider uh, commodities moving across the supply chain, all the way from the manufacturer to the suppliers to the national level uh, to the county level, uh, one, uh, one big objective is to ensure that all the movement of these commodities is visible uh, so that uh, decisions can be made appropriately. So one of the things that uh, Afio Gabi did was to uh, pilot uh, the use of uh, data analysis tools, uh, first uh, in, uh, you know, using Excel-based uh, uh, dashboards, and then using a cloud-based uh, database uh, platform, as well as uh, Power BI for visualization. So we uh, essentially put forward that practice of facilities or you know the county teams and the national teams being able to uh, look at data uh, through through dashboards through the click of a button so that uh, beyond just uh, the data that they, re they, they reported into DHIS2 they could actually now be able to 
uh, extract that data in a, in, a, in a timely way, analyze that data, and make you know make make, make informed decisions. So in Tarakanithi County, you have this grievance redress mechanism, uh, which was established to help um, the citizens in the county uh, to be bringing up issues that they think are hindering um, service delivery in the county. And so the citizens are encouraged to be able to report any concerns they have about uh, any service delivery uh, or any issues that they find with the public servants that are offering services in the county. And so here they're able to send to us comp complaints, compliments, as well as any concerns. And as a county, we see this helping us to involve the citizens in uh, matters of ensuring that they feel that their concerns are received. And we also ensure that once anybody has sent a concern, they get a feedback on what has been done about whichever concern they have had. We now have a system, uh, we have now what we call, uh, we can now estimate and actually quantify what the patients need so that we avoid stockouts. Stockouts is a major reason as to why patients, uh, we wish to, uh, I'll put it this way, is to uh, come here and uh, lose faith. We are the only sub-county hospital and most of them preferred going to neighboring sub counties in Oyugis and Kendu Bay to get services. As of now, the issues of stockouts has been minimized to a great deal. Uh, of course, uh, not only here, pharmacy department, but with the other departments. And uh, we have noticed an uh, increased, increased numbers of patients coming to our patient department. As a result of end-to-end -end visibility, patients like Susan have access to commodities that they need. Wakati mtoto kama ako mgonjwa, anapimo pia MRDT, yani malaria, ni kama ako positive na napewa tu madawa. Ngine ni mashindano ya mtoto, hii ya kliniki. Ikifika mwezi tarea enye ni mehaidiwa, nifike mwezi mwezi tarea fulani. Kifika hiyo tarea fulani, ninakuja na naudumiwa vizore. Inawashukuru kwa sababu mali wanatoka, wanatoka nga ini, kwa kwa separated, kina mtu anatoka mali, anatoka. So wanatoka kwa umbali. So ule anafika tu kwa facility, anahudumia ya wengine wakifika, wakute kama facility naendelea. So na washukuru pia fenye wanastrago hivyo kwa mka subuhi kwao, na kufika kwa facility na wakombali. In 2021, Afia Ugavi, in partnership with the Ministry of Health, through the Division of National Malaria Program, conducted a mass net distribution of about 1.1 million piperonyl butoxide nets in Bungoma County to 400,000 households, protecting a population of approximately 1.8 million against malaria. I thank the Afia Ugaavi and USAID for 1.3 million. This net tutaweza kupatiana kwa kila boma hapa Bungoma so if we are able to use these nets properly we will then bring down the number of malaria cases and if we can bring them down to near zero this will be good for the county because we will be able to save the money that we use in the purchase of drugs and we will be able to use to save the time that people spend within our facilities Centers of learning in relation to a facility, uh, this just signifies um, facilities that have embraced good community management practices uh, and in a way ensuring that the continuous availability of HPTs in their facilities. So the thinking behind this was that uh, <clears throat> we wanted uh, model facilities where other facilities would come to learn the best commodity management practices so that when they go back to their facilities, they'll be able to apply uh, the same 
and in so doing uh, increase uh, commodity availability in those facilities and thereby ensuring that their clients are served uh, as expected. Through the help of a few Gavi, Isiolo County was able to set up uh, a centre of learning. Uh, that is at the pharmacy department. That's the point where we do on-job training and uh, sit-down trainings for our staff. So I can say centre of learning has been of tremendous uh, improvement, not only for the pharmacy department staff, but also for the nurses and uh, clinic officers, the lab people, because we're like the focal persons who are doing commodity management. Uh, Afi Ogavi has uh, greatly continued to encourage innovation, even amongst ourselves, uh, to find uh, local solutions um, to, you know, to sort out our uh, problems um, or challenges, uh, if you may call them. Uh, we believe there is no other partner than Afi Ogavi who can take this, uh, this uh, bold step and uh, guide us uh, through. And together, I believe we'll be able to, you know, uh, achieve uh, the set of the objectives that we set to achieve the supply chains of the future. So what I see then in the future, and this journey has already started, is where we have uh, supply chain uh, visibility systems that uh, ensure that uh, counties are able to collect data on time. Uh, process it and uh, make it available in a format that uh, the decision makers can use it. After a successful five years, communities can truly benefit from the wealth of health thanks to the Afia Ugavi project. This is a positive step that will help drive Kenya forward.